Okay, I'm joined by Red Stuart Littler. Stu, um, back in Super League. It's not been the easiest of starts, but uh, it must be good to be back. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, every player wants to play top level. Uh, obviously, last year the National League had some success. We built on it with the first game of the season, but then seemed to have dropped off like last couple, last two weeks. Last two performances haven't been up to scratch. Uh, Take on the chin ourselves and. Uh, Hopefully, put it right this week against uh, Eloquence. So you're back at home this week. Is that important? Like, I obviously you want to make the Willows a bit of a fortress anyway. But you know, there'll be a bit of a boost coming home. And games in Super League on the road are tough, aren't they? Yeah, well, I was chatting actually with Sam the other day. And it's, it's everyone, I think everyone can be everyone these days. Uh, I had an interview last week, and I just think that the difference between the top teams and the bottom is they do it consistently. Whereas I think on the anyone performs on the day, they can turn any team over. Now I think it has gone that way. If someone doesn't turn up, then they do get beat. But uh, obviously, we've got working for that consistency and trying to get uh, our performances uh, consistent and hopefully win some games. Have you noticed any dramatic changes from the last time you were in Super League? Uh, just, just it's just quicker than the other league. Uh, we've got to get up to speed with that and uh, working on stuff and training to, to produce that. And uh, as I said, this week, obviously, at home at Charles Alequins. We're going to be looking at uh, picking up two points. You yourself now, you've uh, I think you've played 135 games I think consecutively, which is uh, pushing on like a club record really. I mean, that's a phenomenal achievement for it, for anybody really. But I mean, you you've seen off players over the years who've come in and everything like, and then this year now you're going into a testimonial in May. That must be pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the testimonial again, granted, and that's great. Uh, obviously, uh, I've worked hard over the years and. Uh, Come to a fruition there with that. Uh, I stayed at the club, but I don't see any point to uh, leave somewhere if you're happy. And I've always been happy with everyone, and I've got on with everybody on the team and people behind the scenes. And I've made a lot of friends over the years, and uh, I take them into later life as well. Like when when I'm past playing rugby and stuff, uh, you got friends who who for life. Uh, obviously, the games consecutive I think are a bit of luck because uh, everyone needs luck. We, some players get injured and I don't know, it just seem to be a look, look touch wood kind of thing. <laughs> uh, hope it continues and uh, just pick our form up from last week because last week I was disappointed with um, myself. So when, um, if you go back to the testimony, when do you think you'll be going to be starting announcing events and stuff? Uh, we're planning now because uh, it's just been granted by Rubber League so I'm hoping it started in May with the first dinner being May 15th and opening dinner. And then we'll have to sit down with the testimony committee and uh, sort out the reduce from then. But uh, hopefully it's Friday the 15th of May. Uh, hopefully a lot of people can come from the fans and uh, I'd just like to thank them all uh, for what they've done for me over the years. Cheers, Steve. Thanks for your time. Good luck on Friday. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot.